Hello Aries, this is a flash reading. It's your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions with you and what their blockages are, if there are any in the relationship. So let's take a look. This is going to require a lot of decks of cards. A pre-shuffle is not an option. So I just want to remind everybody that this is a general reading for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Aries. If it doesn't resonate, please check your Moon, Rising, or Venus or one of the playlists attached to the end of the video. Okay, so let's see. We're going for the overall energy. Ooh, look at that. Your person is tuned in and tapped into you. They feel romantic. They feel loving. They feel nurturing. They want to bring you flowers. I would expect you would get flowers any day now. Okay, so what else is the overall energy? The devil, they're obsessed with you. This is a person who feels as though they can't really live without you very easily, but in the process, they also tend to be, because of their fear of losing you, they tend to be secretive and, you know, they tend to be a little bit manipulative or a lot manipulative, but for the most part, I think it's a little. This person truly loves you, but they, they feel as though without you, they are not going to be happy. So they have sort of an addiction or an attraction to you. That's usually the dark side of the soulmate card also. The Emperor card, they feel that you are amazing. Aries, here is this Aries energy in the reading. They feel as though you are super smart, that you're large and in charge. They feel as though you have it all. They, when they're around you, they know that they want to create a legacy, long-term committed relationship with you. So that is the overall energy. Let's get one more energy card here. This person is making an offer. You may not completely trust it. I do think this person has some bad habits, but they love you and they want everything. They want to go the distance with you, Aries. Okay, so it's interesting because you're kind of cooler here. I'm seeing this as they're coming in really hot, very strategic. They want what they want. They're not really willing to tell you. They feel a little bit, you sometimes feel as though this person can be a little bit manipulative, but you're coming in, your energy is calm, cool, collected. Well, let's just see what they have to offer. You know, let me see what's going on here because this devil energy has caused some problems in the relationship. So let's look at that devil energy and see what the twin flame messages are. What is this devil energy and why is it here for the overall energy in this love reading for Aries? What is this overall energy for Aries of the devil card? What is this? What is the situation? Our connection affects me. So it's kind of an odd card because it's almost as though they're afraid that they have to leave and go on somewhere without you. And yet it doesn't really show a breakup. You've been in my dreams. Okay, this is, kind of, this is a card that says again that they are obsessed. They can't really stand the thought. They really can't stand the thought of having to leave you behind. They feel as though in some way you've been so aloof that you've left them. They, they feel like you're very cool. I can still feel you, but it does look like you're still together for most of you. I'm in a much better headspace now. Oh, good, 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 good. Because this devil energy is not going to work with you, Aries. Not at all. That's not something you'll put up with. Okay. So what else do we need to know in the overall energy of this relationship for our beautiful Aries friends? What else do we need to know for Aries? What other messages about the overall vibe of this relationship? Awakening. Aw, someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Well, there you go, little Mr. Devil. Okay, we like it. Release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you let go. For many of you, you would have some pent-up anxiety, which would explain why you're being kind of cool, calm, and collected, because this person needed to learn some lessons. Okay, so let's look and see what the romance angels are saying for the overall energy and this connection for the two of you, Aries. 
what is what is romance angels romance angels tell us what you think of this connection let's see release your ex okay so i'm not you're not their ex okay so they need to release their ex they may still have them in their friends you know uh, friends on facebook it looks as though you're really over it it looks as though you feel as though this person that that devil card they hang on to people from the past oh flirt and extend your light-hearted energy Okay, so Spirit is saying that this person needs to flirt with you. They need to woo you again because they, I think for the most part, this has gotten to you with the devil energy. So the, theirs needs to be a release for sure. Okay, so what else do we have for you, Aries? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner spirit to be youthful, fun, and to shine. Oh, beautiful release your inner spirit to have fun and shine gorgeous okay so we see some problems here but we also see this person being very much enamored with you obsessed with you and wanting to marry you okay and wanting to create a legacy relationship with you and you're not so sure you're kind of being quiet here okay so let's see what is this person thinking about you they're thinking that you could leave them in the cold, Aries. They feel as though you are super successful, that you will go on and you, you will have a very good life with them or without them. They also feel as though you having you in their life is a wish granted, but they definitely feel as though you will leave them in the cold if they don't um, behave correctly. There you are, Aries. <gasps> Ooh, large and in charge, the beautiful queen of wands. They think you are sexy and they want to marry you. How many more times are we going to see that they want to marry you? Oh my gosh. So this person just sees you as super sexy. You know, you really say what you want. You're out there. You know, you are, you make no mistake. You don't hide anything. You know, you're a person who they really respect. They feel as though you are boss lady. And here is another Aries card, the Tower card. They feel as though you have made it very clear to them what you will tolerate and what you won't. So they, when they think of you, they worry that you're going to break up with them or you're going to leave them in the cold. They better come to you the right way or you are not having it. So this Tower card, you know, they feel the Tower could come down anytime. All right. They do feel as though... There's love between the two of you. And they think you're, oh man, do they think you're strong. They just think that you, there's nothing they could ever do to you that would really break you. They see you as being bulletproof. You know, they really do. They see you as being a person who's super strong. Okay, so let's look into their feelings. What does this person feel in their heart space for you, Aries? What do they feel in their heart space heart space okay what do they feel for you in their heart space all right they feel oh king of air very strategic not so much heart space energy they try to keep their feelings under control but that devil card tells us otherwise this person feels that they need to work on the relationship. The, their heart space, they're heartbroken. This person is trying to be cool, calm, and collected on the exterior. We see it here. They, we also see this is your energy. They are heartbroken with this energy, though, when it comes from you. They feel as though they've been working on the relationship. And again, you're staying aloof. I mean, you're friendly. I mean, you, you do love them but it does show that they feel as though you're going to break their heart if they don't kind of come forth in a more positive manner with you let's see ace of water loving you loving you here look at this ace of cups ace of water same card there's a lot of love here 
they fell in love with you a long time ago. I would say because it is an ace and it's the beginning of love, they kind of keep falling in love with you. And I feel as though your relationship has some really difficult times because it looks as though with the devil energy, you get really mad and you really let them know what you're mad about. And yet I see them, you know, I see them kind of, they have bad habits. This person has bad habits. Okay, so what else is in their heart space? But you love them. They, they really adore you. They think you are everything to them. Without you, they won't have a love life is how this person feels. Okay, so what else? Whoopsie daisy. Queen of Earth. They feel they love you because they feel like you are the essence, the salt of the earth, that they can count on you. You give them stability. They want to give you stability. Six of Cups, they grieve the thought, even the thought of losing you, gives them like a stomach ache. Seven of Air, this is why they're not always so honest. They're not always so honest because they feel as though you don't like them for who they really are. But the messenger of fire, they're catching on. I mean, you're teaching them. The transformation, though, they feel really fearful that you are going to leave them behind. They have a lot of fear. This person's feeling a lot of fear that you could cut them out with no problem, that they better make an, a really good offer to you. This person is working on a new offer to bring you back into the relationship there's love, but it does seem like this love is less mature than you are, Aries. Nine of air. You feel like you're carrying a burden with this person. You know, for many of you, you would be just as happy single. And that person, your person has a lot of fear. They are in love with you. They do see you as the one. They're obsessed with you. But they have some bad habits. There's some toxic energy here. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Clarify why this person is in a situation where they keep... Does this, well, just tell us something about this person. Tell us why Aries' person seems to be a hot mess in terms of their love for Aries. Because this person's living in fear. Holy fear. Pride and ego. Okay, well, you know, everybody has pride and ego. So this person has pride and ego. And you just don't buy into it. You do not get caught up into that. That's part of the devil energy. And so it's like, okay, that pride and ego has to go. They wear a mask. That's a seven of swords over here. The seven of swords. She's wearing a mask. This person isn't always honest. Okay, so these are blockages also. For you, Aries, these are blockages. This person is seeking guidance. This person is, I would say, even going on the internet, you know, trying to. The Hermit card is what the Guide card really is. It's about taking time to try to figure things out. We see the material world. This person works, does very well in their career. This, so they feel as though they have money to offer you, legacy, security, stability. But again, that's Capricorn energy. This person is going to go in a new direction. Interesting. Interesting. They're going to try something new. They do have a karmic partner that is in the way. But I don't. This is just releasing their ex. But they seem to be. What they're trying to do is learn some lessons and start the relationship over. There is a third party. Okay. So there's a third party here as a blockage. I don't see that. Let, who's the third party? Who's, who's the third party? Let's see. Who is the third party? Pause. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to check the other cards. To me, this could be someone else that they're attached to. It could be a child. We've, we have messengers here. We don't have pages. But I do feel as though this third... They just let other people in what they think. It's almost like they... They're too caught up with other people. They have someone who seems to need them a lot. So what can Spirit tell us about this? What is this third party situation? Because I'm not seeing it as being a traditional third party situation. A lot of times family members, people who need your person, a child who isn't really fully grown, 
what is it about this temperance card yes something from the past so the third party can be an ex-spouse but it can also be children from another marriage that you have to stay calm yep the mommy card the daddy card the parenting card so it does look like your person has you know there's a lot this person's giving you a lot of um a lot of reason to love them but also to not necessarily you know want to consider long term with them although i feel like many of you've been together with this person for a long term but you're very aloof right now if this person does not do right by you if they do not get rid of some of the old toxic behaviors that they had with another spouse you know keeping relationships with old lovers on Facebook or whatever, you know, that's not working for you, Aries. Okay, so now let's look. We have their feelings. They're in love and they're terrified. Okay, so now what are their actions going to be? Let's see here. Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh, this person's confused. But again, they kind of live in a fantasy world. I really don't think they're very grounded. Okay, what else? What else is this person going to do? Their intention with you is to... Um, this is a Queen of Wands energy. Again, they want to have a life with you. Ooh, romantic, flirtatious. We have that Knight of Cups energy. This, you really bring out this romantic part of this person. Ooh, bare-chested, horseback, bareback horse riding. Ooh, interesting. And here's the Queen of Wands twice. But again, when we have knights with queens, it's kind of a mismatch, which tells us a lot about this relationship. This person is not as mature as you. They're not, oh, this gets better though. Now we have the King of Swords again. So this person, when they do get into the King role, it's like they're so detached. There's too much aloofness here. They just want to be all sort of gushy and romantic and silly, but their king, the, the most adult mature part of them is somebody who's skeptical, you know? There's King of Swords is good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at this. This is a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights. It's a love letter or a new home. Beautiful energy. So this person is looking to move to a new home with you. Um, I do feel, I feel like for many of you, you live with the person. You're very close with them. You see them a lot. Here we go. The moving, the card of moving. So that is their intention. They want to change up. They want a reboot on the relationship. They need to kick some karmics to the to the um, curb. I do feel like you could have karmic ex-love, ex, ex, exes are a part of, I think, parenting with somebody. We do get here the three of fire. We have something worth celebrating. As we start to close out the reading, Aries, there is something celebrating uh, to celebrate. We really get a beautiful opportunity coming that you're going to like very much. The Six of Pentacles, oh, equal give and take. This person will take care of you. They want to take care of you. Let's see what the Moonology Oracle cards have to say. What is the advice in terms of this relationship? What is the advice for our beautiful Aries friends in this relationship? Okay, let's see. Conclusions are within reach, the full moon eclipse. So we had a full moon eclipse recently. Uh, I believe it was in, yes, it was in Gemini. And so intellectually, you know, with communication you've had with them recently, you know exactly what they want from you. Nothing is set in stone. Actually, I feel like that's, that is where you're at right now. I don't feel like you're totally on board with whatever their plans are, I just see you taking time. You're waiting for them to to really get get into a better place with you. You want to see some of this energy. You need to see them have more of a stable effect in your life. Emotions are running high right now. 
left and let's see what else one last card here meditate and contemplate moon and pisces energy so the advice right now for you is that you should think it through don't take any rash actions and aries that is what i have for right now for your person's thoughts feelings intentions and actions what they're going to try to do to win your heart they have some work to do though aries it's been a joy sending you love from chicago since i'm back and tell me where you're from take care bye, -bye.